Yo, 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 what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another movie reaction and commentary. Today, we're going to be hopping into a really, really fun one. At least I'm excited for it. It's going to be the first time watching of The Sixth Sense. So I am pretty stoked about this. Not only is it End Night Shyamalan, but I've been saving this one for a good bit. I have not watched this. I know that's really hard to believe, but you're just going to have to understand that that's just something that happens. But man, oh man, I'm kind of excited about this one. For some reason, I always get this one mixed up with like the fifth element and i typically think it's because of two reasons because bruce willis is in both and also they deal with numbers <laughs> i don't know why but every time i think of the fifth element i would think of oh is it this but then when i watched the fifth element for the first time it was clearly not this so i was like okay i've never seen this movie i should probably check it out and i think it kind of got lost in the whole process of things and then it kind of like occurred to me because i saw a comment i think it was on another m night Shyamalan film that we've watched on the channel and they mentioned this film and i was like oh my god yeah i have not seen this one this is like one of his biggest ones right so i'm excited to kind of start watching this and see what the heck is up with this like always guys if you want to be able to see and watch everything definitely check out the patreon it's the best way to support me if you want to check out something that wasn't on the youtube edit it's probably over there you can do all types of things like patreon polls and you know early access full lens it's a good time so again best way to support me is through the patreon you can also support your boy through um, other means like likes comments and you know if you haven't already you can subscribe and at the very least i just want you to sit back relax get your popcorn and snacks as we hop into the sixth sense that title is so hard to say with me my goodness all right <laughs> again i would like to you know reinform for those who usually skip the intro it's all good <laughs> it's all good <laughs> i'm not here to i'm not gonna attack you this time but if you guys want to see all that you want to see Definitely check out the Patreon because, you know, maybe your favorite part's not in the YouTube edit because I don't know what's your favorite part. It's my first time watching. I don't know what is, like, the, the favorite part. I'm only picking the ones that I kind of think are cool. <laughs> the Sixth Sense. It's so hard saying that title. For those of you who can say it easily, congrats. You get to not sound crazy. You have a gift that teaches children how to be strong in situations where most adults would piss on themselves. I love this opening sequence and how they shot this. It's not a lot of camera movement. I love that the point of interest is his level of commitment to his work and how that is aligned compared to everything else and how that shot was represented with the frame of his award. Like, it seems simple, but it's, it's it's great. It's good. It's clever. <laughs> oh, damn. Oh, this is bad. Oh, my God. Wow. This shifted. This pivoted. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I was not expecting that. There are no needles or prescription drugs of any kind in this house. Wow, yo, this is terrifying. Damn. This is like a... This could really happen. Oh my goodness. This is terrifying. If I didn't help you, but if you just let me try, you just give me a chance. <laughs> oh, whoa. Oh my God. Oh, wow. What the heck? Yo, he shot him in the gut. He shot him in the gut, y'all. That looked like he just shot him in the gut. Let's hope that there's a hospital around, man, because. That's scary. Oh, my God. All right, so we are in the next fall now. That was well done. That was such a brilliant intro. What the heck? I was not expecting that. All right, so a lot has happened because clearly he's up and moving, <laughs> which means he's been nursed. Whoever whoever patched you up, you need to give them a heavy pay raise. But I guess the gun was pretty small too. But getting shot in the gut sucks, man. Like, you, like what? <laughs> Oh, 
She was crying. What's up with her? I'm also noticing a lot of coloring to red. I'm not sure what that's supposed to mean, but I was just like cluing it in, just seeing like a bunch of, you know, you got the red cloth that she's wrapping herself with, the red doorknob, the red door, the giant red door. <laughs> Pretty interesting one shot here. I love that, like with Eminite, Emma Eminite, <laughs> Eminem. Whoa! What the heck? What the heck? That. Oh my god. <laughs> I'd get spooked out too. <laughs> That's creepy. Why are the drawers open? Something's up with Cole, man. <laughs> that kid is interesting. Who Who is this kid? These shots make me feel like there is all kinds of things happening underneath this surface, man. Already. And I'm still caught up on that intro. Like, that intro was crazy. Like, why... why Aren't we? Why aren't we going back to that? <laughs> he got shot. Your mom went to see a doctor like me, and he didn't help her. So you think I'm not going to be able to help you? Hmm. Wow. The writing is so good. Damn. And it's so personal too. How they're doing this is incredible. You're a good student. You've never really been in any serious trouble. Mm. Mm. I love that the camera's reflecting his movement as well, too. I was thinking, you're nice, but you can't help me. Mm. It's so interesting how this format, how this story is being welded together. Cole has scratches on his arm. I think they might be fingernail cuts. Defensive cuts, maybe. I don't know. What happened between them? I'm trying to figure out what would, what would cause this friction between the two, because... I've seen her with him. I don't think the gunshot wound would have done that to him. Something else might have happened, or something like that. Something else has to have happened. Anna. Happy anniversary. Wow. What the heck happened, bro? What? What did you do between getting shot and, and this? You are not a freak, okay? Don't you believe anybody that tries to convince you of that? That's bullshit. You don't have to go through your life believing that, okay? Thank you for saying that. Because <laughs> that's a shame that that kid feels like he... I know. Feels like he, he is a freak. But there's definitely something up with him. <laughs> He's not a freak, though. I don't know exactly where that park is. That, what, what is that? Is there like a supernatural element to this? What's going on? Is that like a, like a, uh, like a ghost flare? And that's like only coming from like, <laughs> all the ghost hunting, <laughs> ghost hunting TV shows that was out that I remember watching. It wouldn't look like that, though. I don't know what that is. Ever done any free association writing, Cole? Yo, what the heck? What is going on here? You gonna get that? I love this incredibly interesting approach. It almost feels like a, a surreal approach to human psychology because it's very grounded and obviously him and how he gets his textbooks and everything like that but there's this weird undertone to it i don't even know how to describe it, it just feels surreal okay. Step in the horse manure. Oh, thank you very much <laughs> um what what no no that's not good at all no no what the heck? Why didn't she like bring up 
the fact that I don't know he has a she has a husband. <laughs> yes, Cole. They used to hang people here. I mean, he's not wrong. <laughs> he's not wrong, but that is a little weird. Way to high school. What? You shouldn't look at people. It makes them feel bad. How did you stop looking at me? Who have you? Oh, oh my goodness, bruh. Oh my goodness, man. Yeah, Shut up, you freak. How the heck did he pull that? Because he looked like he, like, that was like a prior knowledge. He was like, yeah, you went to school here, stuttering Stanley. He was like, wait, what? That was freaky. That was freaky. That was weird. What is happening? That's not the end of the magic trick. I do another little shake. And right back in the left hand, where it started. <laughs> this dude. <laughs> this dude is funny. <laughs> Hmm. She'd do anything for you. <laughs> I love you guys. Oh, damn. That's pretty. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Is that like a? Um, is that like a previous VHS of their marriage? Yeah. Okay. I assume that. That's why it's hard to believe. Like, what's going on? Like, I just there's something off, man. Like, I don't know what the heck happened. The film isn't diving into it, but I don't know, man. We'll find out later on, I guess. Sorry. Sorry. I'm telling you, what the heck is red in this film? What is it? I want to know. There's so there's there's such a heavy emphasis on the color red here. Is that what it's called? A red herring? <laughs> there's horse. Open this door, I'll break through it and grab you! Start the Holy crap. Yo, is he seeing ghosts? Is that what's happening, or at least hearing it? Is he hearing, like, the histo the history of these places? Oh, yeah. My dad made me invite him. Because the way that voice was audio, like, it was, it was edited in a way where it was ghostly. Like, that sounds like a... Like, like a goal. Okay. It's called Locked in the Dungeon. Yeah, cool. And uh, you get to be the one locked in the dungeon. Punch these dudes in the face. I'm so, man. I, I, that's so effed up, man. Man, those kids are just standing there. I, I drop kick him, honestly. Right down those tumbling steps, those swirling steps. There's some cuts and bruises on your. There he is. I love that he always puts himself in his films. That's so cool. <laughs> Maybe they run out of gas. They run out of gas. That's good because they're driving, right? Okay. I'm so sorry about why you're sad. I also love the fact that they're not like like super demonizing this kid obviously it's nice to see that there's a he's he's still trying you know like he's he's open towards him i know that's like his job and all but like we clarified in the beginning like he really takes it seriously also don't give up on kids he's not the same person that he used to be and his wife doesn't like the person that he's become they barely speak anymore they're like strangers Okay, so we're getting a little clarity. Dived into his work, I guess. But she was happy about that. She was like, cool. she was, I thought she was cool about that. I thought she knew that. I see dead people. In your dreams? Uh, yeah. Okay. So he can see them, too. Uh, so he's not just hearing it. He can see them. Did people like in graves and coffins? Walking around like regular people. Oh, that's creepy. Yeah, that's creepy. That's creepy. Wow. And you don't even know they're dead. I promise. We stay here until I fall asleep. Homie is clairvoyant. Is that the word for it? He is clairvoyant.
that would explain why he was able to <laughs> pull that roast from way back at that teacher. Shout out to this mom too. My goodness, right? Single moms and single fathers. <laughs> Yo, that's crazy. I remember having to like actually fear for that. Like, like I don't know why that was nostalgic. Mama. No, oh, dinner is not ready. Oh my God. You can't hurt me anymore. Jesus. <laughs> oh man, I feel so sad for this kid, man. Like, okay. Okay. a lot of people think like that's like being clairvoyant is probably a really cool thing, but man, this film is making me um, think otherwise. That's terrifying. What? Oh my goodness! So that's how he knew. Oh, wow. Damn. That is a gruesome image. This is, this is, this film is so good. <laughs> I'm having a blast with this. Cool. It's been a minute since I've been thrown in for a loop like this. The bumblebee pendant? Why do you keep taking it? Oh, no. Is this going to cause friction? Because... He didn't actually do that. And they really didn't lose them. It just gets moved. So did you move the bumblebee pendant? Mm, damn it, man. That's so difficult, man. I feel for this kid so much. If we can't talk to each other, we're not going to make it. Now tell me, baby. I, I, I won't get mad, honey. Did you take the bumblebee pack? Man, I yo, I feel so bad for this kid, man. That is so terrible. That is so terrible. He feels so alone. That breaks my heart, man. Come on. I'll show you where my dad keeps his gun. Come on. Oh, whoa. <laughs> yo. <laughs> M. Night, dude. Sebastian, come on. M. Night, that was brilliant. That was really good. Damn. This is one of the better films that really goes into the psychological warfare of just children, man. And the helplessness that comes with that and probably the lack of, you know, uh, uh, things that are done to help children with that. So used to, you know, films being about this adult thing, you know, that if it makes it seem like that's an adult thing. Only adults go through this psychological warfare of just life and feeling alone. I imagine that the woman who owned it loved a man that she couldn't be with. Did he have wavy hair and chestnut eyes? What? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's perfect, Anna. Thanks. <laughs> Oh, no. Oh, no. What is going on? No, 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 no. The way we used to talk to each other. Like there was no one else in the world except us. I'm sorry for that long face. I'm, I'm thinking. <laughs> I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Vincent. Whew. It's cold in here. Mmm. You starting to put it together, man? You starting to put it together, homie? Mm. Yeah, dial that all the way up, man. You need to you need to hear all of everything. <laughs> it's Spanish. It means I don't want to die. What do you think these ghosts want when they talk to you? Maybe they don't want to leave. They don't want to move on. Is that why they are clinging to him? Ah! 
Hey. Hey. Oh yeah, bruh. Yeah, he died. Oh yeah, man. No way. Yep, he's gone, dude. I was thinking that in my head. I was thinking it in my head. I I, I didn't want to say it out loud because I was like, there's not enough evidence yet. There's not enough evidence yet. That proved it. Don't know why. I just there's no way he just did not see him. Get out of here, man. He's, he's he has to be dead. He probably didn't heal from that bullet wound in his gut. That's crazy. Dude, if that's right, man, that's insane. This is an insane story. <laughs> Mom, are you asleep now? But like, how did she go? How did she go to him though? Didn't she go to him? Or did she not know of let me stop questioning it? We're almost at the end anyway. Jesus, man. Oh, my God. That's that's terrifying. I will say that. That's it's hard to listen to that. I'm feeling much better now. Mm. And it's just so powerful because he's confronting them, you know, like he's he's listening to them, I should say. It's just like the whole theme of this. Like there's. I love it. This is really good. <laughs> this is seriously good. Like, I know I'm, like, engaged in the story and trying to figure out what the heck is happening. But, like, just the story in itself and how they're showing it, it's really, it's it's very genuine. Even in its abstraction, you know? So he didn't cheat. I guess she did. But if he's dead... I can't stop thinking of it now. <laughs> I can't. I can't. I'm like observing things now from that angle, and I'm like, what the heck? Yeah, no one, no one is like batting an eye towards him. Love that there was a clever misdirection with the color because I believe her mother was in red. And now we can't even really even see her mother anymore. Oh my god. Oh my god. Who is that? Oh my goodness. Is that her? And that would that would make sense that she's in red too. I'm so happy I called that beforehand because I was wondering if I was just going crazy and if there was meaning to all of that motioning. It was like an orchestra being played in front of me through the camera. Oh my goodness. Because if you go back to that scene, as they walk past, you expect like him to give it to the woman because she's in red. And she's the one that's mourning. But he actually goes to the father. And as they walk, her, the, the woman in the red gets cut off. And I was just wondering. I was like, uh-oh. Something's up. That is so clever. Wow. This film is clever, man. That is incredible. Who uh, who were you talking to? Mm. Mm. Just practicing my lines. Oh, that's so good that he's like, man, that's good. That's so good to see, man. That makes me so happy. <laughs> Love that there's a red rune right in front, right in the middle of the sword. He conquered his... Uh, what was thought to be a curse it's actually an incredible gift because of him that is man kids are so cool <laughs> except for when they're not and they're like bullies that's when they suck i'll see you tomorrow Come on. damn this music man this music is just not helping
It is, but it's not helping me and my emotions. <laughs> or maybe it is. But I have noticed the music in itself has been an incredible character in this entire film. Grandma says hi. Mm. She says she's sorry for taking the bumblebee pendant. Yep, just, just keep it going. Just keep hitting her with it. We'll, we'll make her understand that this is not just a game. When you were little, you and her had a fight. Right before your dance recital. Mm. Mm. Let her know, man. Let her know. Dance. This is brilliant, brilliant performance on her. I mean, she's a phenomenal actress. You know what I'm saying? She's ki she kills it every time. <laughs> every time she's on the screen. Do... Do I make her proud? Oh, I love that this isn't like... Like, like the mom talking. This is like the little her talking right here. Wow. Yeah, that was much needed. I'm happy you told her. I'm happy she finally understands. And y'all can heal. That's so good. This film is good. <laughs> Damn. Oh my goodness. Yup. Yup. Yup, he's just clocking it in. That's crazy. If y'all didn't catch that beforehand, I know most of y'all probably losing your minds right now or when you guys saw this in theaters, because that's crazy. That is insane. I need to go back and watch how they did some of the scenes. They only see what they want to see. Yeah, he'll do it for me. Thank you, M. Knight. I appreciate that. Oh my god, wow. That's... Oh man. This is a crazy story. Oh my goodness. I needed to help someone. I think I did. And I needed to tell you something. Man, Bruce Willis's voice of just understanding. You sleep now. Everything will be different in the morning. And that's just something Bruce Willis can only do. I don't know why, but it's just when he says things in this tone, it's just such a it's comfort, man. It's really it's really comfortable. Wow. Damn, y'all. Guys, and that is the Sith. Sith? I can't say the damn word right, man. Y'all know the film we just watched. All right, do I have to struggle to say the name of this thing? Can y'all just get that y'all know what film we just watched, okay? It's the Sixth Sense. <laughs> All right, everybody, we just got done the Sixth Sense. Man... <laughs> This film is like one of the fewer films I've watched that I believe tackles grief, moving on, especially uh, childhood grief and, and how gray that area is. And honestly, I, I love the approach. I love the supernatural approach to this. You know, I clocked in that, you know, Bruce Willis's character was dead probably about like three quarters of the way in. Um, <laughs> but like, man, just that seems so secondary to me, if I can be honest with you, because I know that probably was like a really, really big reveal. I, I, I can tell that's probably a big reveal, but I only say this because, you know, this only, in my opinion, further just shows how great this film is. I think that was secondary. I think just the whole conclusion with the kid and his journey and how he became the over how he, how he overcame his fear towards this thing that he considered to be a curse which is if you noticed what the guy in the beginning said that he had he said that he had a curse and it's not a curse you know it was great that in this journey that our main character went through 
um, and you know, towards his journey that needed to be concluded, that this was all the rising action to it all, you know? And that made that last reveal that much more understanding and that much more reasonable because yeah, if I found out that I've been dead this entire time, I'm going to not really be too happy about that. <laughs> but I think it's because of the journey that Bruce was, uh, his character went through, especially with the kid and then how there was multiple revelations and deeper understandings and, and not only just life, but also in his career and, you know, his purpose. Then I think that made the transition of him realizing that he's been dead this entire time of him realizing that it's just it's his time to move on that made that that much greater you know like i feels like that was the sprinkle and everything else was just the better foundation of the cake now let me get to the technical aspects of it this was shot so well there were so many cool things that were happening like on like i mean even just things that didn't even link something to um let's say for instance you know like a uh, like a mundane thing but now looking back with prior knowledge i'm like wow i know we briefly talked about you know the whole thing with the red uh the, the color red portraying something um and how its connection to the i guess you could say afterlife um is revealed to us i loved how during that whole scene with the little girl and um during her funeral they had the movement of camera and then they kind of switched it and it was just really nice to see and just seeing how just M. Night Shyamalan is able to just incorporate different styles and approaches like that one take in the beginning of the film you know and now looking back on it and seeing oh that's what that was about it's just really interesting I loved it and it kept me on my toes but it also deepened the pool I was in and I, that's that's great you know this overall was just a very fundamentally genuine experience I, I felt forward with this film and i'm taking this with me you know like this is this is a really damn good film so i would like to hear what your thoughts are on this i know there's probably plenty so be sure to say it in the comment section as always guys i appreciate y'all even the ghosts out there i appreciate y'all too all right much love, stay healthy, and stay hydrated because we are just getting started. Purple jacket, pocket full of weed. Everything that I should ever need. Grab some matches because they give them free. Just like my time. Hair pulled back in the backseat.